let us move on to the next chapter which is chapter 9 in chapter 9 we're going to learn about simple harmonic motion simple harmonic motion or simply used as SHM uh, first thing uh, we take a look at the learning outcomes of this chapter uh, first learning outcome is kinematics of simple harmonic motion as predict motion loss of energy then the next uh, learning outcome is graphs of SHM. By end of this lesson, you should be able to identify and use relevant parameters from the following graphs, which is uh, displacement against time graph, velocity against time graph, acceleration against time graph, and also energy versus displacement graph. The simple harmonic motion. Uh, first, we take a look at the definition of SHM. SHM is a periodic motion without loss of energy in which the acceleration of a body is directly proportional to its displacement from the equilibrium position and is directed towards the equilibrium position but in opposite direction of displacement. Or this uh, definition can be represented by this equation which is A equals to negative omega square x also equals to the second derivative of x in terms of time where a is acceleration of the body omega is the angular frequency x is the displacement from the equilibrium position if you take a look at this equation you notice that this equation has a negative sign in front what does that mean this negative sign uh, is actually indicates the direction of the acceleration A which is always opposite to the direction of the displacement. Okay, next uh, we take a look at the examples of SHM system. Okay, examples of SHM systems. There are three types of SHM systems. The first one is the simple pendulum oscillation which is represented by this figure. The second one is the vertical spring oscillation and the third one is the horizontal spring oscillation. Okay, next um, we, we're going to take a look at the terminology used in SHM because some of the terms that we use in this chapter may be quite unfamiliar to you. So the terminology used in SHM is that uh, the first one is amplitude which is represented by symbol A. It is defined as the maximum magnitude of the displacement from the equilibrium position and its units is in meter. So as you can see this in this figure, this is the amplitude from O origin to uh, this symbol A here. The next one is period which is represented by T. It is defined as the time taken for one complete cycle and its unit is in second. The equation for period is T equals to 1 over F. And the third one is the frequency which is represented by symbol F. Frequency is defined as the number of cycles in one second and its units is in hertz. 1 hertz is, is equals to 1 cycle per second or equals to 1 per second. The equation for frequency is equals to omega over 2 pi or omega equals to 2 pi f. Okay, um, next we move on to graphs of SHM. We have four types of graphs which is displacement time graph, velocity time graph, acceleration time graph and also energy displacement time graph. Okay, first uh, displacement time graph. In general, the equation of displacement as a function of time in SHM is given by this equation. X equals to A sine bracket omega t plus V close bracket. X which is uh, the displacement from equilibrium position. A is the amplitude. Omega is the angular frequency. T is time. And V is the initial phase angle or phase constant. And the whole thing in this bracket is called as phase. Please do not uh, confuse uh, between phase and initial phase angle. Phase is everything in the bracket and initial phase angle is represented by symbol phi. Okay, the SI unit of the displacement is in meter. 
the SI unit for this X in this equation is in meter. Okay, next is velocity time graph. Equation for instantaneous velocity is represented by this equation. V is equals to A omega cos bracket omega t plus V. Okay, the maximum velocity of V maximum occurs when cos bracket omega t plus V is equals to 1. Hence, V maximum is actually equals to A omega. The relationship between velocity v and the displacement x is represented by this equation, which is v equals to plus minus omega square root a square minus x square. Okay, next we move on to the third graph, which is acceleration versus time graph. The equation of instantaneous acceleration is represented by this equation. A equals to negative A omega squared sine bracket omega t plus V. Okay, uh, this equation is negative sine. So, you can take a look at the graph here. It is in, in the shape of negative sine graph. The maximum acceleration A maximum is, uh, is actually occurs when sine omega t plus v equals to negative 1. Hence, a maximum is equals to a omega squared. The relationship between its acceleration and displacement x is a equals to negative omega squared. Okay, we already take a look at the graphs of displacement time, velocity time, and also uh, acceleration time graph. So uh, now we take a look at the relationship between these graphs. Uh, so we have three types of graphs, uh, xt graph, vt graph, and also at graph. And these are the equation for each graphs. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, the equation for x, uh, the displacement time graph is x equals to a sine omega t plus v, uh, which is a is the amplitude. Uh, let us take a look at uh, the graphs, all the three graphs, when t equals to 0. So when t equals to 0 for xt graph, xt graph, uh, it is a sine graph and it started with uh, 0 at the origin. So when t equals to 0, x is also equals to 0. But if you take a look at uh, v graph, vt graph, it is a cos graph, cos shape graph. So uh, when t equals to 0, v is equals to uh, maximum, which is v is at some value. And if you take a look at a t graph here, at t equals to 0, the acceleration is 0. So we can conclude that uh, when the object is at equilibrium position or when x equals to 0, uh, the displacement is 0, uh, the velocity is maximum at origin or at equilibrium position. And, but the acceleration is equals to zero. Okay, next we move on to the last graph, which is energy versus displacement graph. We have two types of energy, which is you have already learned uh, previously. We have potential energy, U, and also kinetic energy, K. For potential energy, consider the oscillation of a spring, SSHM, Hence, the potential energy of the spring is given by this equation, which is u equals to half m omega squared x squared. As you can see in this figure, you can see this is the pendulum is moving, and also the spring, a uh, horizontal uh, spring system. Uh, so as it moves, you uh, can see here, this is the equilibrium position, this is the maximum displacement, and this is the negative maximum displacement so at, at equilibrium the value of energy u is zero at maximum displacement the value of energy is maximum 
So you can relate with this equation. U is actually directly proportional to the displacement. So when x, x is 0, u also becomes 0. Next is kinetic energy. The kinetic energy of the object in SHM is given by this equation, which is k equals to half m omega squared bracket a squared minus x squared. As you can see in this uh, graph, this is graph of k against x. So at x equals to 0, kinetic energy is maximum. Why is that kinetic energy is maximum? Previously, you have learned you have learned about the velocity. The velocity is maximum at equilibrium. So V max is at x equals to zero. Therefore, because of kinetic energy is related with velocity, so when x equals to zero, V maximum, thus the kinetic energy, when x equals to zero, kinetic energy is maximum. At maximum displacement, velocity is zero because the object is actually stopped for a while at maximum displacement. So because it stopped before it changed direction, so velocity equals to zero, thus the kinetic energy also becomes zero. Okay, we have learned about potential energy and also kinetic energy in SHM. Now, we take a look at the total energy in SHM. The total energy is actually the summation of kinetic energy and also its potential energy. The equation of total energy is given by this equation. E equals to half m omega squared a squared or E equals to half k a squared. K here is actually the spring constant. Uh, if we take a look at this graph here, this graph is representing uh, energy against displacement graph. The red lines here is for kinetic energy graph. The blue lines here is for potential energy graph and the black lines here is for total energy. So all the energy here is combined on the same axis which is graph of energy against the displacement. In this chapter, there are a few things that you have to pay attention to which is some of reference books may use general equation as a general equation for displacement in SHM such as x equals to a cos omega t plus v. If you notice here, this equation is in terms of cos instead of sine. You learned previously the equation for x is in terms of sine. So please do not confuse yourself. Um, this equation might be in either one. So it might be in it might be in cos function or in sine function. So do not confuse yourself. Both are correct. So it depends on the equation. So what happened to the V when X is in terms of cos? V is the differentiation of X. In order to get V, we have to differentiate X, right? So V is equals to negative A omega sine omega T plus V. So uh, V becomes in terms of sine because the the equation of displacement in terms of cos. When you differentiate cos, you will get sine. Then the equation for acceleration also changes because acceleration depends on the equation of V. In order to get A, you have to derive, uh, you have to differentiate uh, the equation of V. So you get A equals to negative A omega squared cos omega t plus V because when you differentiate sign you will get cos. Okay before we end our lesson today uh, there is uh, a quick test for you guys. The first one is uh, what is simple harmonic motion? So please find the answer. Okay the next one is uh, the maximum magnitude of the displacement from the equilibrium position is the definition for 
A, frequency, amplitude, period, or phase. Please find the answer yourself. Then the third quick test. State the examples of SHM. The question is so easy. So, if you pay full attention to what I'm saying uh, for this lesson, you will just can answer this question in few seconds in a blink of eyes. Okay, have a nice day. Thank you.